Let me tell y'all about this story. The Chantel story. Ten Toes Down Challenge, man. Chantel story. Look, it was this girl named Chantel. Everybody called her Shanty. Mama died when she was five, so now she living with her granny. She got big dreams of big screams and fame. But she ain't know when she turned 15, her life was about to change. Shanty met a dude, right? He was kind of cool, right? Clean cut, cleaned up. And a nigga look nice Always text good morning Even text her good night She be tweeting every morning That she had a good night A couple months go by They done got serious Granny warned her about boys But Shandy wasn't hearing it Listening to her friend's stories That's what made her curious Sexed up next month Shandy missed a period One day she be straight The next day she throwing up His cell phone she blowing up Shandy get the going up She mad cause his phone off She ain't got a phone call She ain't seen him at school That's why Shandy thrown off. If she think he finna be a dad, she got that nigga bent. Ever since she let that nigga smash, she ain't seen him since. She stopped going to school, had to make her mind up. Abortion, she can't afford it, so now she waiting nine months. God damn. Shit. How many Chantels we got out there, dog? Real talk. Real life. But, um... We're going to fast forward into our life a little farther, so keep up. Look. Okay, it's been about a year. Her baby girl finally here. A healthy eight pounds got Shani smiling in her ear. Her job paying good kind of make her want to cheer. Then she got a call from her job that she ain't want to hear. Staring at the phone. Then she finally answered. The man on her phone said her granny died from cancer. Granny had a secret she been trying to keep hid. But when God say it's your turn, it is what it is. Shanny breaking down. Forgot she had a kid. Fucked around and got fired. Now she ain't got nowhere to live. A friend of a granny who happens to be an officer. Offered to a place to stay to take some stress off of her. He was super nice. Almost like he had a crush. He was there in the rush. She even helped move all her stuff. Shanny felt like he saved her for doing all them fast. But months after moving in, he fucked around and raped her. God damn. Chantel. We jumping right back in. Fuck that. <laughs> Look. Now after so many fights, so many bruises, taking L's every night, she just got tired of losing. So many excuses, she just got tired of using. Whatever to keep from going under, she was ready to do it. She got back on her school shit, but she still wounded. Polly from yelling stop, and that cop been abusive. She wasn't scared to tell, but she wasn't going to speak. Because it's hard to go to jail when you the chief of police. So she kept it to herself. She kept doing what she was doing. She was working under fires. The other hour she was schooling, singing down the hallway, this dude heard her grooving, then he said, baby, music should be something you pursuing, he said, baby, I can make you rich, you will love that, Shani said, fuck that, I ain't finna trust that, my dreams, you'll crush that, and plus everybody I ever gave my trust to, ain't never get my trust back, the man said, I understand, I ain't trying to make it hard, here's my number, you can call me if you have a change of heart, without shit to do, Shani made her mind up, she made a song about her life, the record label signed her, now she at the Grammys, like this one for my granny And it's fucked up that her daughter her only family So if you take a minute and look back What she been through You'll never give up Cause look where it'll get you Real shit That's for my Chantel's out there